All right, hey guys, uh, really good to be here for this week's dev update. Uh, on the session side, I have some exciting news. This morning, we just enabled ID blinding. Um, so that has gone live on all of the session open groups that we control, which is uh, session, Oxygen, Crypto, and LokiNet. Uh, so it should be the case now that if you go into those open groups and you press on someone's profile, you'll be able to send them a message, which will go into their message requests queue. Um, and this is opening up a feature that was enabled probably you know, six to nine months ago that we turned off because it was really bad for spam because people were able to actually get your real session ID. ID blinding basically means that they're not getting your real session ID, they're getting a um, generated session ID which is generated per server. Uh, so it's a lot better for uh, anti-spam measures and if we do see um, people starting to pick up uh, you know, messaging people a lot that it, that's getting into their message requests, we can actually start rate limiting people as well on the server side because the message request actually flows through the server um, in this instance. Um, so yeah, really excited to get that feature out this morning. Um, we are also working on theming uh, quite a bit, so that's actually come really far on iOS, desktop and Android, which we're working on right now, and a bunch of menu redesigns as well, so we're trying to unify the settings uh, menus across all of the different platforms and reduce the number of settings that we have if they're redundant or are not really used in the application. Um, and we're also doing a menu redesign to help improve onboarding as well. So people, when people actually come into the application, um, streamlining the experience there, um, especially on desktop where we have like some weird um, buttons which don't necessarily make sense. Um, so that's about it for the session side and we'll be seeing those um, updates hopefully with theming and stuff rolling out in the next couple of weeks if everything goes well. Uh, on the LokiNet side, actually I'll, I'll go with Core first. Uh, on the Core side we have We've basically uh, just been waiting for uh, the mandatory service node upgrade to go through. One of our core developers was on holiday um, last week, so we didn't get too much done there. And Jason's basically been working on some um, session-related configuration message um, stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for the mandatory service node upgrade. If you haven't upgraded your service node, there will be a period uh, after the 14th where your service node 14th of this month where your service node will get kicked off if you haven't upgraded to the latest version so make sure you've upgraded to the latest version the good news is I, when I last checked I think it was about 92 or 93 percent of people have upgraded already so we've just got a tiny portion of um, operators which haven't upgraded yet but if you are one of those portion make sure you upgrade uh, very soon otherwise you'll be kicked off the network uh, on LokiNet we've been working on WinDivert still, um, we made a lot of progress last week and we think we have it working, we're just trying to resolve one DNS issue uh, with WinDivert which should get it uh, over the edge um, to actually being included um, in the code base and, and moving forward with a much better system for managing Windows. Um, and the final thing in this week's dev update is that we've started working on a library for Session which helps us better manage configuration messages. Um, and this is going to be really useful for closed groups uh, where you can potentially have race conditions where one administrator or one person is kicking a member from the group. Like there can be multiple administrators in the next closed group design, so multiple administrators can try and kick a member from the group at the same time, um, which causes these conflicts with key rotation. So we're basically creating a library which is going to work the same on every single platform um, to manage all of that kind of configuration message complexity. So um, Jason and Jeff will start working on that hopefully uh, this week. Uh, so yeah, that just about wraps it up for me. I'll uh, chuck it over to the marketing side. Thanks guys. Hey guys, back again. Now, last week our major focus was getting all the comms out around the Emoji Reacts release. So there was tons of stuff involved in doing that. We did a whole bunch of animations. It also included doing a release roundup newsletter which focused on all the additional features and just all the little bits and bobs that came along with the Emoji Reacts release. So that went out as well. Um, Actually, we've also been looking into strategies last week, strategies and um, research into targeting the German market, specifically for Session. So we've kind of realized that uh, the German market seems primed to uh, take on Session for like Session adoption. So we've been doing a lot of research and finding strategies to specifically target that market so we can get session in the hands of all the, the German people. Um, so that's where our head's at 
at the moment. Also on the content front, uh, we have been pumping out a lot of content, specifically this week, uh, we were focused on, I mean last week, what we were focused on was content surrounding uh, specifically private messaging apps with phone number free, which is exactly what Session is. We realized that there's been a lot of interest in these phone number free private messaging app solutions, so we've been creating a lot of content in regards to like sim swapping and just stuff around that topic to try and capitalize on that front. Continuing on the content theme, actually this week, or last week, we've also been uh, prepping for a whole bunch of content to capitalize on the upcoming ETH merge hype. So that's going to include all of this content surrounding um, staking, particularly our implementation of proof of stake, pulse, service nodes. So we're prepping a whole bunch of content to go out around that to make sure that we're getting content out while people are looking for content around staking and that kind of merge hype. Um, on the foundation front, we've also been um, prepping for the World Ethical Data Forum that's upcoming in October. We've got a few hosts, uh, we've got a few events that we're going to be hosting around that time. So if you guys are interested, definitely sign up for that so you can check that out when it happens. Um, and finally, as always, we've been, you know, continually doing our work, um, UI, UX on the Session app. And last week, it was around the functionality around disappearing messages. So Connor's been hard at work doing that, and um, it's been going well so far. So that's it for me. I'll see you guys next week.